Look, I'm absolutely horrified that we're in 2022 and we are still seeing misogynistic behaviour uh, that women have been experiencing for many, many years. It's really important to me that we challenge that behaviour. I think that we have an imposter syndrome, it's particularly gendered and that you can have an imposter that sits inside you and you have to challenge that all the time and then I might say to myself sometimes, oh, you know, I've got to get over this, I've got to toughen up. No, I've got to challenge the behaviour of those people in the first place. I've had people that have talked about my voice. It seems something that really upsets people about my voice and they talk about the high pitch of it. Well, that's misogynistic behaviour because women do have a higher pitch voice than men. So the moment you go into those areas, uh, that becomes misogynistic. Uh, it's just something that is constantly there. I do laugh about it because there's no way I can change my voice. There's no way that I'm, I'm any different in that. But I have started to call that out. I have started to say, this is not okay. This is not okay to say that. And I know that even speaking up now, that there'll be people that will say, oh, you just need to toughen up. But again, it's not okay. It's not okay to, to accept that sort of abuse. We do need to challenge it because again, that is, it's misogynistic. Using that sort of language is misogynistic and that is designed, that has been designed to keep women at a level that they can't progress or they're starting to question themselves. And that's not okay. We need to keep, keep challenging and I will keep challenging.